If you think motion blur in After Effects is just about turning on a switch, you're only scratching the surface. By the end of this video, you will never look at motion blur the same again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create this new shape. And then I'm gonna go ahead to effects and presets and add an effect called shatter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the motion blur switch for this layer and make sure that motion blur is enabled on my composition. And now if I scrub through on my timeline, I'm expecting to see motion blur, but there's no motion blur. That is because not everything in After Effects support the default composition motion blur. There are some effects like the shatter effect that do not support motion blur. So how do I force motion blur to this stubborn animation that doesn't support motion blur? There's an effect for that and it's called CC force motion blur. Now, if I go ahead and add the CC force motion blur effect directly to the shape layer or in the effect controls panel, we can see that it figured out that there was motion on this animation and it added that motion blur for us. So if we go over here to this composition where I have this footage of this 3D render that was not made in After Effects, this is just a video footage. CC force motion blur will be less useful in this situation because all of this movement wasn't created by After Effects. This is just a rendered video footage that we brought into After Effects. If I go ahead and add CC force motion blur, we can see that nothing happens. Now, if CC force motion blur is not ideal for a situation like this because it only looks at vector details that were created inside After Effects, what else can help us force motion blur without thinking about if After Effects created that movement or not? Well, the answer to that is pixel motion blur. So if I go over here and search pixel motion blur, pixel motion blur looks at all the pixel information and creates motion blur out of it. So I can do the same thing I did with CC force motion blur. I can just apply it directly to an adjustment layer and it will create natural looking blur. And now if you go ahead and adjust the samples, you can make it more smooth because it doesn't care if After Effects created that or not. What matters to pixel motion blur is that something is moving on the screen, but it is more heavy on your computer, especially when you increase the samples to make it more smooth.